I'm buckled in. Hola guys, happy Tuesday. Why do I ever friggin' know what day it is? And right before I push record, I tell myself, okay, it's this day and then help. But anywho, hola guys. It's um, after work. I am off tomorrow, which I am so happy about. Uh, it's little dude's ARD meeting. Uh, for those of you that don't know what an ARD is, it is his uh, yearly meeting in regards to his IEP, which is his Individualized Education Plan. Um, it's basically the teachers and his uh, therapists meeting with me every year to see if he has met his goals and to see what if anything needs to be done to help him meet his goals if he hasn't met them and to set an idea of what his goals are going to be for for the next year. Uh, it's an autism thing. Uh, so I have his uh, ARD tomorrow and I also need to speak to his speech therapist because he has an evaluation coming up and she and I need to discuss a couple of things uh, in regards to how he's doing there. She's also gonna be at the ARD, but she and I need to speak one-on-one -on -one a little more in depth in regards to some things that she wants to work with and some things that I have um, noticed or have always known uh, that we're, we need to tap into and help. In regards to his communication, it's not that he can't speak, y'all know he can speak. It's just in regards to his communication, his, um, I keep leaving this radio on in regards to his communication and his being able to socialize a little better and feeling more comfortable with speaking to strangers when he needs to not like just going up to some random stranger and say hey what's up dude no but being able to communicate with people like at the mall or people at school or anytime he needs help um, from an adult or a teacher he he uh, still struggles with being able to be confident enough to feel that he's using the right words to put the right words together he does have the anxiety from the autism so him asking for help has been an issue since he started to learn how to talk it's always been an issue he never really quite knows what to say when he needs help whether it's if he's feeling sick if he's been injured if he's struggling with schoolwork he he, he struggles with putting the right words together he doesn't know if he's going to ask correctly that kind of thing and this has been an ongoing thing and uh, we're trying to work on that some now um so yeah so i took the whole day off because i need to focus on him i need to be sure i'm asking the right questions i need to be sure that i'm taking in all the information and i can't do that at work they told me that i could use the conference room uh the ard can take 45 minutes to an hour depending on how many questions we have how many concerns and then with the speech therapist i'm not even giving myself any time she said we'll talk as long as we need to talk so i can't do that at work so i just went ahead and took the whole day off and tomorrow's supposed to be super chilly i don't know that it's going to be raining the rain came in it's been raining all day long temperatures have dropped it's cold and chilly and miserable uh, but thankfully the rain stopped and I can get home and little dude won't have to get drenched from the bus stop into the house uh, because Dallas folks don't know how to drive in the rain, okay, at all. Unless the sun is shining, you're risking being in some kind of friggin' pileup. And even when the sun is shining. But something about bad weather, wet weather, cold weather, Dallas just loses its marbles. So, uh, I'm gonna be home tomorrow. I need to get home and winterize my plants. You guys, I told y'all that I just took out my plants. I just took out my ferns about two weeks ago. I just took out my aloes, and now the weather done got wonky again. The weather done got wonky again, and it's been raining all day long. I know those pots are going to be super duper heavy soaked with rain, and by the time I get home, my big dude's going to be gone, and he's the one that carts my plants in and out for me because they're friggin' heavy and your girl got the sciatica and the bad knees and the bad arm I can't be doing that he wouldn't let me anyway he gets super mad at me when he sees me out there fiddling around in the yard even though most of it I can handle and it's fun to me he gets so upset when I'm out there doing what I usually do out in the yard but anywho he will be at work by the time I get home we would have just crossed each other and uh, I didn't want to bother him earlier because he was asleep you know and I didn't think about it this morning before he actually went to bed to ask him to bring him in. So anywho, what I'm going to do right now 
out of necessity, guys, out of necessity, I'm going to go by Thrift Town. And the reason I'm going by Thrift Town is because I'm looking for cheap sheets, okay? Just some cheap flat sheets, uh, thin blankets, anything that I can drape over my three ferns and my two aloes. And then I have to run by Dollar Tree and see if they have those tarps. Was it Dollar Tree 99 cent? Oh, oh shoes. Shoes, shoes. I can't remember who it was. I saw these tarps, these plastic tarps. I can't remember where. Hopefully between now and when I leave Thrift Town, I can see if I remember where I saw these painter's tarps because I want to cover the plants in something warm, a sheet, and then put plastic over it so the sheet doesn't get soaked and then they end up freezing. We're not supposed to get a freeze, but it's going to be cold and ferns and aloe don't like cold and I'm pushing my luck um, leaving them out there, but like I said, there ain't no way I can lift them suckers. Those suckers are going to be heavy, and then they're going to be soaked, soaking wet. They're going to drip all over the carpet, and I ain't trying to do all that, but I will bring in my mint. My mint is looking really cute. It's growing new shoots, um, but anywho, I figured since I'm going to Thrift Town, let's have you look around in there with me, and then wherever I end up, dollar tier 99 cent only for the tarps. Maybe we can do that too. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I fell in love with this pretty box. It was hand painted and awesome. And I thought about putting my remote controls in it and leaving it on my coffee table, but I ended up putting it back, even though the price was awesome. The shiny caught my eye on this thing, but I do not need another lotion or soap dispenser. I thought about this little guy for the yard, but not for no $5.99. I thought the pattern on these was so pretty and I loved it that it was milk glass, but there were only two and I would have loved four. And then these little things I thought about buying in case I found a pretty base, but decided not to. Ooh, look you guys, a pea. Do I want it? Do I want it? Oh, maybe I want it. Ooh, this is pretty. There's only one though. Huh, it ain't that pretty. I keep looking at these. They're pretty heavy. I like the blue, but I don't know. They're kind of expensive. Three ninety nine each. Nah. It's Mary Poppins without her parasol. No paraguas. She's cute though. I almost got this beautiful for my bathroom downstairs, but I ended up leaving it just because I don't have any more wall space. And I thought this would have been cute for the laundry room. I had this yellow enamel frame in my basket, but I ended up putting it back because the metal around it was kind of gross. I have a collection of these little carved wood birds. I usually bring them out in the summertime, so... Huh. I don't know. What is this? Oh, this is handmade. Look, it's handmade paper. It looks like something out of Gilligan's Island. Oh, this is too funny. I'm always joking around about Martin getting an online job. I love all the little wooden signs and stuff that this store has. I saw this flower here last week. And the price is really good, but I don't have any spot for it. And this was so funny to me. I kind of wanted it, and I actually had put it in my basket, and I ended up putting it back. This is a really neat Harley Davidson frame, but because it is Harley, it was pretty darn expensive. I wonder if anybody will find it. This is funny because it's true. 
I love this rustic crafty stuff. I cannot believe this is still here. Why doesn't anybody buy it? This dish is awesome. I love the whole mosaic thing happening. It's huge though. And kind of expensive. Okay, this hurt to leave behind. It gave all of the iridescence of crystal. So I knew when I did the little ping ping test, it was going to ping. Do you hear the disappointment in my voice? Now here is what I came in for and I was looking for the cheapest ones that I could find, but I wanted colors that I might be able to use later on in the house if I had to, but I found some pretty good ones. Now this shelf is where I found those little vice thingies that I showed you on my last haul and I was hoping that those big giant ones were still here that I had left behind but somebody way smarter than me must have picked them up because they were not here. This is just a very very random shelf but I do have luck finding things here. These little guys were here the last time I came, but I just think they're too expensive. Now this I put back the last time I was here. It's this beautiful crystal topper for a lamp, and I just keep thinking I'm never going to find a base for it, so I left it. Again. This little lady is so cute. I think I have an ornament by this uh decor designer lady and I was tempted but eh nah this was really neat uh for a tween a teen just a cute little makeup um caboodle y'all remember caboodles but it's so fancy I really liked it and the price was really good too I don't know this might be one of those regret not buying purchases I thought this lampshade was so cool and so did the dad behind me because he ended up putting it in his basket. And this little lovely, just awesome. I had to show you all the detail. Just amazed that people can hand make stuff like this. So pretty. Okay guys, I am just now leaving Thrift Town. It's getting dark on me. Um, I had to call and check on little dude. I still got to go by the Dollar Tree real quick because I really want my plants to survive. I had to check on little dude. He gets a little nervous being solo in the dark. Um, and my big dude left for work a few minutes ago, but he assures me he's fine. I'm going to run into Dollar Tree real quick. I think it's Dollar Tree, guys, where I saw the tarps. I think. Uh, if not, well, then the sheets are going to have to do. Um, hopefully it doesn't start raining again before I get home or I'm going to be out there like a drenched rat trying to protect my plants. Um, I have a plan. I'm going to bundle all the ferns together and cover them up and then put my two aloes together and cover them up and then I'm bringing my mint inside. But, yeah, y'all know I didn't just find sheets up in there. That's what I went in for. And I did find plenty, really good prices on them too. And then I picked sheets that I might use later sorry guys y'all are wiggling um for non-plant season if I ever need a, a little sheet or something I had to get colors that I would use uh, I don't know what kind of condition they're going to come in after covering my plants but I didn't just want any old random sheet but I grabbed quite a few from a little matitas dude you're on the wrong side of the street home skillet jeez there's my old church I miss that church um, but yeah, I'm going to run to Dollar Tree and Sneaky Peekaloo in there. Why do we look blurry? Is it because I'm wiggling y'all? Or do I have a fingerprint on the screen? Is it me? Do I look blurry? I don't know. But 
was going to tell y'all something. What the heck was I going to tell y'all in regards to the thrift town of it all? I don't remember. But I'll see you guys at Dollar Tree if y'all want to sneak a peek a -loo in there. This is one of my favorite sections of Dollar Tree because every time the seasons change, they have these pretty different, amazing assortment of little kitchen towels and things. I would have so many of them if I didn't have control. But look at them. So pretty. Aww. If y'all don't already know about the tool section at Dollar Tree, for those of you little DIYers, not like hardcore DIYers, but little putter around the house, fix this and that types like me, y'all come to Dollar Tree first. Y'all come to Dollar Tree first. Y'all save some money. And if y'all ruin it, y'all didn't spend a lot. So now that we're a dollar twenty-five tree, this is the stuff they offer for three and five bucks. This gives me five below vibes and family dollar vibes, but it's cute stuff. Very cute. I hope I'm not moving too fast and making y'all dizzy. Y'all know me and my pots. Ooh, I like this. Is that really? Sorry, I know that was moving too fast. Are these really three bucks? Nope, liars. Five dollars, I like that. Oh, y'all know me and a lantern. So cute. These creep me out. These creep me out. I bet they're even scarier with the lights on. Look at that. How stinking cute. Lots and lots of stuff. Well, this is upsetting. I mean, granted, I need to get home. But look at this. Even if I wanted to look, I can't. It's a mess. Now y'all know my little movie loving heart is thumping in my chest right now. But I've got to get home. I think it's starting to rain again. This is the best orange juice ever. Love it. Just scanning to see if there's anything I need for the canton for the house. anything eleven dollars later and I am heading home it started drizzling again I hate this weather because the windshield wipers don't know how to act I have it set on the the least the lowest um, timer and even at that, when they scrape across the windshield, it makes that horrible noise because there ain't quite enough drops on it to need a wipe, but there's enough drops on it to need a wipe. I know that don't make any sense. Y'all hear that horrible noise? Okay, I gotta roll down the windows because I can't see in the dark and now there's a million and one raindrops on my windshield. So it looks like a million and one little headlights headed towards me. But thankfully traffic's not bad on this stretch of road. This neighborhood is a little sketch. But it's the only Dollar Tree close to me where I don't have to actually pass the house. I don't like passing the house. What's the point? Oh, goodness gracious. I'm so paranoid. There's a group of teenagers on the side of the road getting ready to cross the street. And I just assume they're a bunch of little hoodlums because they're young men. <laughs> and I know I should be ashamed of myself because I have a young man. But something happened to me the older i got where teenagers scare me okay they do i cannot see a group of teenagers coming at me hey can i see a group of teenagers coming at me because they spoke me um but 
Anywho, plus being in the dark is not helping my situation. I'm scared of the dark. I can't see in the dark. I'm in a sketch neighborhood. Um, it's just getting older and having become a parent many, many moons ago, you're very aware of your mortality and how you need to be on this planet for your kids. But anywho, my head hurts, guys. Between the weather and the Lysol, because y'all know I got a Lysol anything I buy that's like material. My head is killing me. I'm sorry, y'all are wiggling. I'm not going to be on here too long because I do got to focus and drive. Even though I don't stare at y'all while I'm driving still. Anywho, I um, got everything I needed at Dollar Tree. It was Dollar Tree that I remembered that had those tarps and stuff. So I got everything I needed at Dollar Tree. I got my sheets, but now it's raining. So I'm still going to be out there in this mess uh, covering up the plants as best as I can. Like I said, they didn't say anything about a freeze tonight. So, because the plan was that I was going to dry off, especially the aloes, I was going to dry off each little uh, arm because I didn't want water on them to freeze and then just jack them up. But I don't think we're going to get to freezing. So hopefully I'll just put the sheets on and then the plastic over the top and they'll be okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the ferns. I'm not too far from home. I just checked on little dude again. He's like, he's fine. He wants chili dogs. Well, he doesn't really eat chili dogs, but he wants hot dogs. So, when he told me that, I grabbed a bag of potato chips. We're gonna, I'm going to make hot dogs and tater chips. And um, I'm sure there's something sweet in the house for dessert. But yeah, 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 I just refill the cookie jars. And keep it simple. Um, it's days like this where I'm running around that I'm grateful he has such a simple uh, appetite. But usually I'm worried about it. But he'll eat two or three, excuse me, he'll eat two or three hot doggies and have some chips and then we'll settle in and watch some TV or a movie or something. And then we get ready for tomorrow. Like I said, I'm off. So um, prior to these meetings, y'all might end up in the street with me again. But let me get home and then it does look blurry. Maybe it's the wiggle. Um, let me get home and I'll show you guys a few little things I picked up. And that'll be it for today. Y'all are so cool for hanging out with me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I got to tarp my aloes. Oh, I forgot about my friggin' avocado. It's not supposed to freeze tonight. Tomorrow's supposed to really drop. So I think I'm going to drag him in tomorrow. And then I was able to cover all my ferns. I have one more tarp left, but I think this one's going to be okay just over the top. And these are the sheets I just got at Thrift Town. The tags are still on them. That one has a sheet under it as well. But yeah, they come in handy. They really do. Now i got to get my kid inside. Come on, Peanut. Let's go in. It's freezing. Okay. <sighs> okay. I am in the house. My feet are freezing. I got drizzled on, and now my hair is a complete poof. But that's okay, because I'm home, I got the weenies boiling, then I'm going to give him a quick roast, and the little dude will have his doggies and chippies, and everything will be good at Casa Perez. But, let's get into the stuff I picked up. I'm going to show you guys the remainder of the Dollar Tree stuff, because there ain't much left. I used it, uh, the majority of it outside. I got four of these tarps. Um, I used... Two over the aloes completely covered those because they're a little more tender. And then y'all saw what I did with the sheets over the ferns and one tarp. I might see if I can drape this over the avocado, but I'm worried that the avocado in its weak state, poor little thing, might snap. And then that'll just make me really sad. But I have one left. And it's four feet. It's a good size. It's four by six. Um, really good size. So guys, like I said, don't sleep on the Dollar Tree for those little types of things. And then I couldn't resist these guys. I see them there all the time now, but I couldn't resist it. Uh, these little magazines. This one is called Small Gardens. And then this one is Small Space Makeovers. I have a small house. I can get some ideas from that. I have a tiny yard, so I can get some ideas for that. I thought they'd be nice to kind of flip through tomorrow while I'm waiting on meetings and stuff. I thought that would be nice just to have and get ideas from. Uh, sandwich bags, because I used the last one this morning for Little Dude's lunch. And then I went ahead and grabbed these. Now, these are the ones that I had actually seen, which is what I was going for. But then I saw those tarps, and they're a little thicker. 
And I actually had somebody tell me that they used to save their cat and dog food bags that are made out of that kind of um, tarp material to set over their plants. And it worked better than plastic because they tell you do not put plastic directly on your plants because they can still freeze. So you're supposed to do like a cloth and then plastic to keep the wet off of them. So this is what I was actually going for. It's the drop cloths. But then I saw the tarps and I went ahead and just grabbed these because you can, you never know, you know, you never know. So I went ahead and grabbed some of these. Now, I don't know how many are in here, if it's just one nine foot by 12 foot or if it's multiple. I think it's just one. But either way, I grabbed them. Good to have around the house. Okay, so that's everything that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Now, let me show you guys what I picked up at Thrift Town. I picked up four sheets three of which are used outside. This has to go in the washer. I Lysoled it, but it still smells thrifty, okay? Uh, but all of them, and I made sure to go through all of them because uh, I wasn't going to get anything that was 3 and $4. All of them were $2.49. I didn't even take the tags off of them, guys, because it was already drizzling, so I just draped them over. But I have this one left. Let me put it back in the plastic baggie. Like I said, it is Lysol, but... I don't know where it's been. So I Lysol and then I super tie them tight. And sometimes I'll leave it overnight if I know I can't get to the washer. And honestly, I'm a little tired. So this is going to sit in here all Lysol in the bag. And then um, after dinner and everything, I'm going to throw it in the hot dryer. And then I can wait to wash it. I just run it through a hot dryer just to burn off any cootie that might be on it. And then I can wash. So I still need to do the dryer for it. But that's that. And then, of course, y'all know I ain't going to walk out of there without anything I don't need. But since I did so well on the sheets, I could not resist these. You don't know how bad I want to put these on, guys. But I don't know whose feet these have been in here. My feet are frozen. I found these little booties. Little bottom here with this fake fur and it's fur all the way through, not just along the edge, it's fur all the way through. They're not stinky, they don't even look worn, guys. Is it me? Do they look worn to you guys at all? They don't look worn at all, they're not smelly, they're not stinky, they're not even scuffed or marked. Um, but I don't know whose foot has been in here, I don't know where they've been. So these got just a quick little spray of Lysol, I didn't even go inside with the Lysol, they just got a quick spray of Lysol. But I don't know if I can wash these. Would y'all think the fur will mat up and jack up? I tried to look at the label to see, but it doesn't give any washing instructions. But I love stuff like this because when the winter, my feet get so cold, they cramp. Cramp bad. These were only $2.99. So stinking cute. Grab those. This was a little expensive, but the quality of it and the feel of it and the size of it, I just went for it. I'm always saying nobody over 25 should be wearing a backpack. But when it looks like this, are you friggin' kidding me? Look at this. The leather is butter soft. It smells of leather. Um, it has all these little compartments here on the side. I love the way the straps connect to this buckle with this little brass detail. The fringy. It's just a nice adult backpack if there is such a thing i just really really liked it I, like the character backpacks and stuff like that on an adult come on now but um this is just a nice adult backpack and the brand is mms i've never heard of it but it's nice quality and the leather smells real and it's butter soft hey there's two little tassellies hey okay we ain't gonna go there but got two tassels. that's pretty just a pretty bag and y'all know i had to love it if i went above my thrifty price of five dollars but i paid 6.49 for it i loved it couldn't leave it behind now this i did go ahead and grab i had put it back and then i'm like no i know what i'm gonna use it for okay so some of you guys send me cards and letters and all kinds of things, and I keep all of them, you guys. And I am so sorry if I don't reach out to you via text or via Facebook. 
or or even reciprocate with a thank you card i'm such a bad friend guys but know that any cards you guys send me any letters any little any little things you guys send me in the mail i keep okay and i have some on my board and i would show you guys that but there's so many pictures of family and friends on there and i don't know how they'd feel about me showing off their face and i don't know how to blur on this phone uh, but I have so many of y'all's little cards and little things that you guys have sent me on my board. So I'm thinking I'm going to put them in here. I did grab it. This is the neatest thing. It is made out of plant material. Apparently, let me see if I can find it. Apparently made on an island or gathered from, okay, this is, look guys, it's handmade paper. It's handmade paper and they have these little strings in here for you to set in cards, postcards, gift cards, maybe pick gift cards, cards, maybe pictures. And it's all handmade, recyclable, and it reads green power. No tree is harvested in making this product. Materials were chosen from highly sustainable flora and fauna from the Pacific region. Our artisans use various parts of the bamboo plant, coconut and palm trees, seed grape, Lahala leaves, halo koa seed pods, and bark from the mulberry tree to create these distinctive gifts. So it's straight out of Hawaii, the tropics. It's handmade, hand bound. Look at the detail on this. I love stuff like this. You guys know I totally appreciate a craft person. Is that metal? That's metal. Look at the dolphins. I thought that was some kind of wood. That's metal. So stinking pretty handmade gorgeousness and it was only $3.49 so that's what I'm going to use this for I'm going to use this for all the little letters and cards that you guys send me and I know it's going to fill up really fast heck I may already have too many to even I may have too many for this but that's where they're going to go I just thought it was gorgeous how could somebody thrift this I bet this was a gift to somebody from somebody and they didn't appreciate the craftsmanship I think it's beautiful but anyway grab that and the only other thing that I picked up, and I wasn't gonna, but I put back a lot of things, guys. I had a lot more things in my basket. And I'm like, I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't need this. I don't need that. I put a bunch of stuff away. And I had put this away. And I'm like, no, I gotta have it. Y'all know my old lady vibe, okay? It's the beautiful little doily. I think I have it on video, part of the video. It's this gorgeous doily. And it's the colors, guys. I, I was going to leave it behind because I don't have any room for it. But when I really looked at it, the detail on it, handmade again. Somebody took their time to make this. And the colors are just so stinking pretty. They look more vibrant in the video that I actually took at Thrift Town than they do here. But it's, trust me when I tell you, it's bright and gorgeous. And it was only $1.99. So this came home with me. And I think, honestly, I want to put it on my coffee table right there. Because I'm thinking of decluttering the coffee table. I have a bunch of coffee table books on there. I think I'm going to streamline all that. And maybe this will go in there. Or maybe here by my TV stand. I don't know. But definitely had to come home with me. But that's everything, guys. That is everything. Um, hopefully, the weather doesn't get too, too bad. Uh, we're not expecting a deep freeze or anything. So we'll see. We'll see what the heckin uh, happens right now. I'm going to go take care of myself some because I was car karaoke like a lunatic in the car. You guys look at my poor, sad, thin hair. I was car karaoke. See, this headband is what messed up my hairline. They'll tell you, don't do it. And I've done it for over 20 years. Jacked up my hairline. Mm -hmm. But anyway. What was I saying? I need to take care of myself because my throat is a little parched. And then I have hangnails of the devil. You guys do not pull a hangnail. I pulled this hangnail uh, on Friday. And since then, it has swollen all right in here. There's heat to it, so I'm sure there's an infection in it. Usually when I pull hangnails, all I have to do is kind of, you know, press a little and squoosh comes out. I put some antibiotic treatment on it, and it's a done deal. No big deal. Not this one. This one is the stubborn one, okay? Don't matter how many times I've soaked it. Usually when I come out of the shower, by day one, it feels pretty better. It feels better. Not this one. This is a really stubborn one. Uh, no matter how much I try and finagle with it, it's still got the infection because I still feel the heat on it. Not as bad as it was. 
well, something going on with it. And then the nerve, another one right here. Another one starting right here. And I'm fighting the temptation to yank it because it's right there. I'm fighting the temptation to yank it because it's hurting a little because it's right there. But I'm not going to do it because I don't need two phalanges all jacked up. But I'm going to go tend to my little finger and see if I can't doctor it up some. Have a little something to drink. I'm craving a hot tea. I think I'm going to make a chai. I really want some chai. I know chai means tea, but I want a chai latte. That's what I want. I think I'm going to make me one of those while those weenies continue to boil and before they go to roasting. But thanks for hanging out with me again. Thanks for hanging out with me every day that I have been bombarding you guys with my dome, with my face, with my cara, with my presence. Thank y'all for hanging out. It's fun and I'm trying to keep up with the comments, but you guys are so awesome with the comments. I gotta, I gotta get on them, uh, but I'm not ignoring them. I am reading them. Um, so I'll probably have some time to do that tonight. So if y'all see me or get a notification or whatever the heck YouTube does for y'all to know that I've responded, y'all will know it's me up and awake. But till my next girl on, I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope you guys are warm and safe wherever you are. Uh, stay safe in this weather. I don't know what the country is doing with this weather. But y'all stay safe in it, whatever y'all do. And until my next go around, I love y'all bunches. Bye. Que triste sola me encuentro yo Desde aquel día en que se marchó Me di Amor, y aquel cariño jamás volvió Sus juramentos y sus promesas Palabras falsas y sin valor Quisiera odiarlo pero no puedo Pues le hago daño a mi corazón Y si ha tratado de olvidar mis besos, yo sé que nunca los logrará. Aunque otros besos haya probado, la huella mía estampada está. That's my text mix, Elida, Elida Reina. And I am car karaoke on my way home. I sure am.